Ladies, Mr. Tusson's glass looks empty. May I pour more cognac, sir? May I pour more wine, sir? Thank you. Now, ladies, you may go enjoy yourselves. They won't remember a thing that you have said. <laughs> Quiet, please, ladies. You're disturbing Mr. Tuston's sensibilities. He gets very uneasy with talk of killing. So you ladies are not to remember a word of what you hear in this room. Understood? Yes, sir. Of course, Mr. Reardon. I understand, sir. It's hardly a trick, Mr. Tuston. Hypnosis, yes, some, but what you're witnessing is much more than that. Francine, my dear, would you come here, please? You look lovely today. Now watch very carefully what I do. Yes, Mr. Reardon. The system is charged with more than 30,000 volts. Now, would you be convinced of Francine's dedication if she threw herself upon these same bars? You can't be serious. Mr. Tustin! He's deadly serious. Better now, Francine, don't you? Much better, sir. Good. Now go to the window and remove those bars for me, please. Reardon, you must stop this. Oh, no, you said you wanted proof. Please stop her. Francine, you may stop now. You see, it only requires my voice. Thank you, Francine. 